Hello all. Today we're going to learn about a Swiss manufacturer of watches, Tag Heuer. Most of us have already heard about this company. Let us know this company in a much better way. Tag Heuer SA designs, manufactures and markets watches and fashion accessories as well as eyewear and mobile phones manufactured under license by other companies and carrying the Tag Heuer brand name. Tag Heuer began as Uhren Manufaktur Heuer, AG, founded in 1860 by Eduard Heuer in St. Emir, Switzerland. The company was purchased by Tag Group Holdings SA in 1985 when the Heuer brand became Tag Heuer. In 1999, Tag Group sold Tag Heuer to French luxury goods conglomerate LVMH Moet Hennessy Louis Vuitton. Tag Heuer is based in New Châtel, Switzerland and is led by President and CEO John Christophe Babin. Jack Heuer, the great grandson of the founder, is the honorary chairman. Tag Heuer maintains a watchmaking workshop in Cornwall, Switzerland and a watchmaking factory in La Chaux de Fonds, Switzerland. The Tag Heuer slogan is Swiss avant-garde since 1860. 1860 through 1880s, Tag Heuer traces its roots to 1860 when Edward Heuer founded Uhren Manufaktur Heuer AG, English, Heuer Watchmaking Incorporation in St. Emir, Switzerland. Edward Heuer patented his first chronograph in 1882 and in 1887 patented an oscillating opinion still used by major watchmakers of mechanical chronographs. 1910s. In 1911, Heuer received a patent for the time of trip, the first dashboard chronograph, designed for use in automobiles and aircraft, two large hands mounted from the center pinion indicate the time of the day as on a traditional clock. A small pair of hands mounted at the top of the dial, 12 o'clock position, indicates the duration of the trip up to 12 hours. A top-mounted crown allows the user to set the time. A button mounted in that crown operates the start, stop, reset functions of the duration of the trip counter. Huber introduced its first wrist chronograph in 1914. The crown was at the 12 o'clock position as these first wrist chronographs were adapted from pocket chronographs. In 1916, Huber introduced the micrograph, the first stopwatch accurate to one hundredth of a second. 1930s and 1940s. In 1933, Huber introduced the Otavia, a dashboard timer used for automobiles and aviation, whence its name from autos and aviation. The companion Hurvu was a clock that could run for eight days without being wound. Over the period from 1935 through the early 1940s. In the mid 1940s, Huber expanded its line of chronographs to include both two and three register models as well as a three register chronograph that included a full calendar function day, date, month. As the highest development of Huber's chronographs, these triple calendar chronographs were offered in stainless steel 14 karat gold, 18 and 22 karat gold cases. Dial colors were white, black or copper. Nineteen fifties. In the early nineteen fifties, Huber produced watches for the American retailer Abercrombie and Fritch. The Seafarer and Autograph were unique chronographs produced by Huber to be sold by Abercrombie and Fitch. The Seafarers had special dials with blue, green, and yellow patterns that showed the high and low tides. This dial could also be used to track the phases of the moon. Huber produced a version of the Seafarer for sale under the Huber name with this model called the Macriograph. The Autograph was produced in 1953 and 54 and featured a tacky meter scale on the dial and a hand that could be preset to a specific point on the scale. This allowed a rally driver or navigator to determine whether the car was achieving the desired pace over a measured mile. Advertisements and literature also pointed out that this hand could be rotated to count golf scores or other events. 
auto dashboard timers. From 1911, Huber manufactured timepieces to be mounted on the dashboards of automobiles, aircraft and boats. These clocks and timers included a variety of models designed to address specific needs of racers and rallyists. In 1958, Huber introduced a new line of dashboard timepieces which included the Master Time 8-day clock, the Monte Carlo 12-hour stopwatch, the Super Ottavia full chronograph, Sebring 60-minute split-second timer and Auto Rally 60-minute stopwatch. Nineteen eighty to today. Tag Huber formed in nineteen eighty five when Tag Technicians de Avant Garde, manufacturers of high tech items such as ceramic turbochargers for Formula One cars, acquired Huber. In nineteen ninety nine, Tag Huber accepted a bid from LVMH Moet Hennessy Louis Vuitton SA of seven hundred and thirty nine million US dollars, contingent upon a transfer of fifty point one percent of stocks. In 2010, Tag Huber introduced the pendulum concept, the first magnetic oscillator without hairspring capable of providing restoring torque comparable to that of hairspring. Tag Huber's current lines include Formula One, Aqua Racer, Link, Carrera, Monaco and Grand Carrera. Tag Heuer, in keeping with its image as a luxury brand with an innovative spirit, has long-standing links with the world of sport and Hollywood. Tag Heuer has been the official timekeeper of the three Summer Olympic Games of the 1920s, the Skiing World Championships, the Formula One World Championships and has developed a watch for the McLaren F1 team. The brand has also had a long list of sports and Hollywood ambassadors. At the Basel 2011 show in March 2011, Tag Heuer announced the Mick Rotimer Flying 1000, a concept mechanical watch capable of accuracy of 1000 of a second, 10 times faster than the micrograph. Moretz, France-based group logo, manufactures Tag Heuer branded eyewear under a license acquired in 2002. Paris, France-based Mode Labs Group manufactures a Tag Heuer branded mobile phone under the license. Mode Labs acquired the license in late 2007 and marketed the first Tag Heuer branded mobile phone in late 2008. The company also markets a line of men's accessories including wallets, belts, bags, jackets, bracelets and cufflinks. Tag Heuer has paid numerous notable celebrities to endorse its products, including Art and Senna, Cristiano Ronaldo, Jessica Michibata, Tiger Woods, Leonardo DiCaprio, Brad Pitt, Chen Doming, Jeff Gordon, Maria Sharapova, Juan Pablo Montoya, Kimi Raikkonen, Uma Thurman, Fernando Alonso, Lewis Hamilton, Therese Jogao, Shah Rukh Khan, Deepika Padukone, Cameron Diaz, Steve McQueen and Walter White. Steve McQueen wore a blue Monaco in the 1971 movie Le Mans. This model is now referred to as the McQueen Monaco and Swiss Formula One star Joe Seffert customarily wore a white dialed Autovia with black registers. In 1974, Huber produced a special version of the black dialed Autovia that was offered by the Viceroy Cigarette Company for $88. This version of the Autovia was called the Viceroy and advertisements for this promotion featured racer Pernelli Jones. In 2007, Tag Heuer won IF Product Design Award for its Monaco Calibre 360 LS Concept Chronograph. The award was given away by the International Forum Design Hanover GmbH held in Hanover, Germany. The watch received the award in the Leisure Lifestyle category. It was chosen among more than 2,200 timepieces presented by watchmakers from 35 countries. Tag Heuer received the IF Product Design Award for the second time in two years. In 2006, another Tag Heuer watch entitled Professional Golf Watch won in the same Leisure Lifestyle category. The design of the Professional Golf Watch was developed with Tiger Woods. In 2010, the Carrera 1887 won La Petite Aguel Award, the small hand for watches retailing for less than CHF 5000 at the Grand Prix de Horlogerie de Geneve. 
So we got to know about the various aspects of Tag Heuer. We went through the company's history to its present day scenario. Hope the information was useful and have a good day.